Hello and welcome back to another match review on the old Gold of Black YouTube channel. I'm Tom Rouse and just a small disclaimer for you. First of all, I didn't actually go to the match tonight for the first time this season. I didn't get back home from work until 6 o'clock or later than 6 o'clock so it wasn't possible for me at all. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about the players and stuff because only listening on the radio and seeing the clips on Sky Sports very difficult to form an opinion on the game but if ever you wanted to show uh, a football fan about a team shooting themselves in the foot tonight would be a perfect example we were our own worst enemy from the first few minutes when Connor Cody got sent off completely fairly I thought a idiotic challenge from him a senior player in the team uh, a player who's played so well this season so far to make such a daft challenge against a player that we know probably wouldn't have gone on to score that chance from Leon Clark. People could argue that there were defenders covering, but from what I've seen, it looked a pretty blatant red card, which was a shame and spoiled the game because then Wolves had to take off Costa, who I haven't even mentioned yet, was the first time that he's played a game since the beginning of April, for sacrificing him to shore up the defence a little bit more. But then through the whole of the first half, Wolves came under pressure, chance after chance after chance uh, Sheffield United had, and then bit of a failure to close down from Matt Doherty on the right hand side or their left hand side Sheffield United ball coming across the box Miranda possibly could have got a foot on it as well but back post Leon Clark there to tap it in and it just had to be him didn't it to score the second goal as well couldn't hit a cow's backside with a banjo when he was at the Wolves and scores two goals against us tonight very very disappointing and then to come back a little bit in the game after half-time, it sounded like Wolves had a little bit more of the game and a few more chances. Brighton and Bakari coming on for Bonatini and being a little bit more direct in the play. It sounded like a good substitution from Nuno in that respect. Uh, Wolves won a penalty then and Neves hitting the post with the penalty. The outside of the post as well. For a player of that standard, you do expect penalties to be put away, although understandably, you know, everybody can miss them. And it's just unfortunate today that it wasn't Neves' day. That would have turned the game if we could have got to 1-1, one, one, then shored up again. But another uh, set-piece goal conceded has got to be a major, major concern now. Uh, we can't be carrying on conceding goals like that because we're not going to... We're not going to get promoted if we can't defend set pieces, I think. I don't think tonight's game is a major worry. I don't think there was too much to be concerned about. It's just one of those games which you get in the Championship where things just don't go your way. And when you, if you don't help yourself with silly tackles and unfortunate penalty misses, then unfortunately you're not going to pick up points from games like that. However, moving on to Burton Albion who lost 4-0 yesterday against Aston Villa. They're going to be looking to bounce back at home. Uh, with a good result against us. They beat us there, of course, last season, so Wolves are looking to get their revenge for that, and I'll be there at that game to give you a full and detailed match review. Thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more Wolves updates, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.